because I keep getting comments like this and I kind of keep saying this over and over again, it's okay. Like I'm going to be patient. I know some of you are new to my channel and maybe you've never heard me say it before. I'm getting ready to like package some stuff. I can't tell you about that, but no, right now. I want to go ahead and get this video out today for y'all. So we are going to hop into my computer. I'm going to answer your question, but you just go hear me like talking over stuff because I look dusty and I'm not putting on no clothes but I do want to answer your question mainly because I don't want to keep having this conversation I kind of want y'all to like get where I'm coming from and if you don't get where I'm coming from like that's okay I want you to feel comfortable in still doing whatever you want to do because I'm not trying to change you I'm not trying to get you to think the way that I think I'm just giving you facts so let's go ahead and get this question answered all right let's hop into my computer so let's hop right into this you said your information sounds convincing but how do you explain the multiple women and gurus who have been using fedigree for years and have tailbone length hair respectfully sis why wouldn't we listen to those women who've shown us their amazing results and who have thousands of followers getting similar results just wondering your thoughts on this well i'm really glad you asked so let's break down your question in parts the very first thing that I want to address is the word convincing let's let's unpack that so let's unpack this word convincing convincing capable of causing someone to believe that something is true or real I really want to tell you guys that when I make videos here on my channel I am in no way shape or form trying to convince you of anything I present facts to you and you can either take it or leave it see when we're talking about fedigree and when we're talking about women who've been using fedigree for years and for centuries what I am getting you guys to do is unpack facts and I think that there's one main reason why most people can't really take the time to unpack the facts because they really need to be convinced I am not here for the people who need convincing that's not what I'm here for I am here for people who already want the knowledge who already understand that the things that they've been doing are not the things that they should be doing right I am here for facts a fact is a thing that is known or proven to be true so when we are talking about women who've been using fedigree for centuries let's get to the facts and let's actually unpack those facts because this is the issue and this is the problem that most people that share your feelings about what I have to say normally have because you need convincing and people have convinced you with what you can and see with the eyes that this is all it took but because you didn't take the time to unpack the information for real you don't really know everything that goes into it because see things are very different the diets from these women who had been putting fedigree in their hair were a lot different than the diets of the women who are putting fedigree in their hair now we also want to notice that the way that they did their hair on a regular basis was a lot different than the women who are trying to put Greek in their hair now for example the women who use feta greek in their hair for centuries they use it as a scalp treatment so they would uh brew the feta greek right and then they would put it in their hair and they would leave it on for an hour tops 45 minutes to be exact but an hour was the longest time that they were leaving the feta greek on their hair and then they would use what they use as soap right there is literally a herb called soap box right I just said it wrong I'll put it in the description below but they use an herb to actually cleanse the assets off the scalp so the way that people are putting the fedigree on their hair now is a lot different than the way that they were using it in the past so when I'm on here I'm not trying to convince you of anything I'm simply giving you the facts 
see this woman here was thanking me for explaining Olaplex in a video and breaking down Olaplex because she has a professional cosmetologist who set aside a full Olaplex plan for her but she was having a hard time listening to what the professional said 100% without incorporating outside products like your favorite products that you're seeing on YouTube and all of these different things that you like to do there are certain orders and certain procedures that you're using for the scalp so again I really want us to get to a place where we're able to have conversations and really be able to hear each other I'm not trying to convince anybody of anything I simply state facts and you guys like I said can take them or leave them but I think that we have a bigger issue right for example, again, we have another person who is really, really confused because at one point, everything will make sense like apple cider vinegar people start using apple cider vinegar but then hair weathering sets in because hair is a fiber and over time when you use these products or when you use these different herbs it is okay at the beginning but long term it ends up doing more harm than good because we only learn half of the science right and when we're talking about herbs and your question you want to know how can I I, you know how can they grow long hair but we can't use it I'm not saying don't ever put herbs in your hair no I am telling you that if you're putting herbs in your hair you need to know the properties of the herb that you're putting in your hair and you also need to know all right how to use this herb and you need to know the cons all you guys address are the pros and nobody talks about the cons please understand that the the people that came before us our ancestors had order they were not chaotic like we are just randomly throwing stuff in our hair and then going outside right there was order because your hair is a fiber and because your hair is a fiber it needs to be addressed as such so when we're talking about putting herbs and things like feta greek and things of that nature in the scalp the reason that you can't do it all of the time my love is because when we're talking about feta greek and all of these different herbs the thing that is making your hair grow with these herbs and when you go do your research like i've done as an herbalist right when you go do your research the thing that is encouraging hair growth is herbs ability to kill bacteria on the scalp so when we do the comparison right when you sit down if you are a scientist and you do the process of elimination one thing that you're going to notice all of the test subjects who would be using uh let's say feta greek for an example to make their hair grow when you do the assessment you will look at all of the different things behind the scenes and you'll look at the diets and you'll also look at the fact that the majority of the people who are witnessing hair growth and experiencing fast hair growth from using these things are people whose hair growth cycle was slowed down from a buildup of bacteria so I'm not saying that oh putting herbs in the hair won't help I am saying if you are putting herbs in the hair it needs to be to treat a specific illness a specific ailment not just to be randomly putting it in your hair and it needs to be washed out because if it is not washed out peep game the thing that makes these herbs so powerful is their antimicrobial and antibacterial properties so what they're actually doing is killing bacteria and the herbs are going in to kill they're not like oh i'm only gonna kill the bad stuff and i'm gonna leave the good stuff alone no it's killing good and bad bacteria so the reason that i'm saying oh don't just put feta greek in the hair what i'm actually saying is you need to do it as a treatment and not something Thing that you do on a regular basis because if there is not an overgrowth of bad bacteria the the fetigreek is going to kill bacteria once it gets in your head period 
So if you are constantly putting fetagreek in your hair and you do not have a bacteria infection, the fetagreek is going to kill the good and the bad bacteria. So then what will happen long term for a minute, your hair will be growing. Yes. But over the years, as hair weathering sets in and as you continue to kill off all of your good and bad bacteria, you then have an imbalance. So now at that point, you then slowly begin to see hair weathering begin to set in you start to slowly see bald spots you start to slowly have your hair fall out and this is where all of these different forms of alopecia come in because yes for a minute they have really long hair but then throughout the years by the time some of them get to a certain age their hair is skin bald it is because of hair weathering but by the same token the women who use all of these herbs and things like that in their hair and their hair is long they had set practices these women were not going months without washing their hair they were not going weeks without washing their hair it was ritual them putting herbs in their hair was a ritual okay and they used to do it as a community as a group it wasn't just one fad that a bunch of people saw online no it was literally a ritual a ritual that was in combination with the way that they ate the way that they slept the things that they watched the things that they talked about all of these things are combined together it's not as simple as oh put herbs in your hair and that's it no that's what i'm saying so again i am not trying to convince you of anything when i make a video about a herb what i am doing is sharing the properties of these herbs i am sharing the history and the background of these herbs with you so you can understand how you should and should not use these herbs in the hair and on the skin because every herb is not for everyone every herb cannot be ingested into the body and every herb should not be be applied topically to the skin and your scalp is skin all right so again I am not saying oh fetagreek is bad I am a herbalist I love herbs I have a herbal business a simple apothecary I have I sell herbs I have no problem with herbs but they do not belong in your hair unless you have a infection unless you have a a specific scalp infection that you know all about and then you need to be on a strict regimen and once you're done with that scalp infection you should be done putting that herb in your hair you can still ingest that herb into the body but once the once the infection is gone you have to stop using the herb all right so that is what i mean you guys nobody is trying to convince you of anything and if you need convincing this probably isn't the channel for you all right i love y'all so much i really hope that that made sense but mm -hmm, y'all can put whatever you want on your head but mm -hmm. so really quick before we go boo if there was one thing that you could change about your hair right now what would it be and this is not a trick question let me know in the comments and make sure that you click the links in the description box below and join my groups because i have so much coming for you and that's what i'm working on today but i still had to get this out because i wasn't going to be able to stop thinking about it so i love you mm -hmm. let me know in the comments let's talk mm -hmm.